artist, making art, is my way of communicating with people 100 years from now. Um, that's why I think bronze is my medium of choice. Manuelita Brown is a former educator turned artist. She uses her artwork to tell stories and reach people who might not otherwise understand a culture and its history. I went to Ghana on a trip with my husband and um, during that trip I happened on a speech by Maya Angelou. One of the attendees, an African man, asked her why there were so few sculptures recognizing uh, the African and African descendants in this country. And she said, because we aren't making them and we aren't paying for them. I had already done a sculpture of Thurgood Marshall for Thurgood Marshall College at UCSD, but I was working there at the time. So I was a donation on my part. But what I thought about was the fact that I have a real passion for the research and the communication of the importance of so many people and not just famous people, the people who keep our society together, the people who clean, the people who raise children, the people who do all sorts of things. Her love of art has fueled her passion, but it's taken some time to turn it into a career. I was actually a mathematics major, but the problem was I didn't think of art as a way of supporting myself. And that was a lack of information on my part more than the actual case. Manuelita joined the San Diego Fine Arts Society's mentor program to stretch her career and broaden her reach. Well, we're at the beginning of the program, but what I'm hoping it does for me is help me use the next 20 years more effectively than I have the fir this first 20 years. The earliest pieces that I did, they are eight life-size dolphins that are in the shopping mall, stretching one, full, one whole section of the shopping mall at University Town Center, La Jolla. I had access to the back lot at SeaWorld where I could watch the dolphin for hours and hours and take image photographs of them so that I watched how they played with each other and these were wild dolphins, not the trained ones. And um, then decided what activities I thought communicated the most as a still shot. There is a sculpture I hoped I would be um, the sculptor for a monument to Sojourner Truth. I, of course, I read a fabulous book uh, about her life. I actually read it twice because I was really get, got into it. But I felt that there was not possible for anyone to do a better representation of her than I did. But I didn't get the job. That does. But however, I've already sold the Marquette piece that I did, which is behind you. I've already sold a dozen of them. I think she represents the strength of a woman who carried a book with her across the fields of Massachusetts and, and uh, the Northeast to preach to people. She was a minister, a, a preacher at least, and couldn't read, but she had people read to her. So she was never without her Bible. She also had a missing finger because it was cut off in a farming accident as she was trying to work her way to freedom. This is the kind of research that, that I think needs to permeate the, the sculpture so that so when someone sees this woman a hundred years from now, they get a sense of who she was and how she lived and when she lived. And that's very important to me. I really like the idea that, that bronzes are, are artwork that you can touch. Mm -hmm. If we make sculpture in stone, and people are constantly touching it, it would erode. If you touch bronze, to me it only adds to the warmth. You may have heard about the discovery of the Riachi bronzes found in the ocean thousands of years after they were created. What historians look to those bronzes to tell them is who these people were and what these, what these people were like. And they, from the smallest nuance, they try to read what these people were like. I, I want the, 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 the struggle, the power, the survival uh, of bo of, uh, and strength of African Americans to be seen thousands of years from now. Mm -hmm. They'll know we were here and know that we we're part of the history of the land. 
where I would like to take my career. <laughs> I, I would like to have a um, patron or a backer who would say, Manuelita, I want you to do one of those big historic sculptures every year until you can't do them anymore. So maybe for the next 20 years. <laughs> I'm Phoebe Chang Chua for Art Pulse TV.